Oh, you guys, I can't tell you how good it feels to get out here on Lake Audubon. I've fished this lake so many times off the bank, and I've been just like, yo, I really need to get out here on a boat. Yeah, I got a fish over here. All right, first one of the day, first hookup. Let's see what we got. He's not fighting super hard, he's not that big. And of course, not surprising from this lake, this is actually, it's smaller than I thought it would be. A little crappy right here. Hey, we'll take it. That's first sign of, first blood of the day right there. Little guy. Let's see if we got any bass mixed in over there. Got my first jig fish. This is definitely a bass. It's a decent size one too. There we go. On that little finesse jig, man. That contact finesse jig. Right on this point. Right in the top of the lip too. Just like you want it. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. Oh, just dunk my whole <laughs> rod in the water. A little pounder. Beautiful little fish right there. All right. Oh yeah, that water's cold. Get back down there, guy. Caught that fish on that little, to that little contact. This is a one fourth quarter ounce jig. Got one. Oh, this might be a good point right here, man. This is a bass. Just barely hooked. That was quick too. That in the one right there, he just came up and swallowed it. He's not that big. At least I'm finding fish. I mean, he's staying down. Yeah, nah, he's a little dinker too. Caught him slow rolling that, uh, slow rolling that little blade bait. How's it going? Morning. Oh, there's another one. Dang, I was getting my uh, a knot out and this guy came up, I guess just picked it off the bottom. But they're all like, they're all dinks, man. You gotta weed through the dinks to get the bigger ones. Let's see. There's another one. I mean, it's like clockwork. There's gotta be like a, uh, like a lay down or something over here off of this point right here because I mean, I'm catching fish after fish after fish, but they are all small little dudes. Wow, you will not believe what just happened. Jeez, this is a big old crappie right here. <laughs> this is about the size that I was catching that one day, man. This is a big old crappie. This is eater size right here. Oh, wow, look at that slab, boys. Look at that slab. I mean, this thing is, this thing is thick and beautiful, y'all. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. If I had a bag, man, I would be keeping this thing, taking it home and eating it. That thing is thick right there. Beautiful little slab. Well, I think I found the juice. Now I just gotta find the big juice. 
Where them big juices at? Where y'all at? I know y'all are mixed in here somewhere. I'm basically just slow rolling this uh, blade bait. Just letting it barely get off the bottom and just, just trolling. And they're coming up from behind it and just sucking it right up. Is this a drop right here? This is a drop. There's another one. I'm sitting on top of the juice right now. I'm about to throw a jig down here. Oh, he was coming off anyway. I think that's like, what, four or five fish within three minutes? Four minutes, something like that? I might throw Big Bertha, Big Bertha down here. I've been wanting to catch one on this thing for so long. I'm just gonna slow drag this thing, see if there's any bigger fish that are in the area and see if they wanna pick this thing up. All right, you guys, so this literally just happened off camera. Look at the size of that bass right there. He hit as soon as my camera died. I went to make a cast and I was like, I need to change my batteries. This is why you change your battery before you make a cast, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look, look at that. Look. I mean, blade bait literally just in the side of the mouth. He hit it as it was on the way up. He's about a good two pound bass right there, man. Dang it. I mean, I caught it, but I wish it was on camera. This is the number one reason why you should always have your camera battery changed before you make a cast. So that you get beauties like this on camera, man. And we're gonna let her go and try and get another one, man. This is the juice point right here. I found it. Hopefully we get some more of these. Let's do it, y'all. See it, big girl. You wanna go, don't you? There she goes. She going right back down to that point. All right, y'all, so I got another nice bass on. This is basically what's gonna have to happen. I left my GoPro batteries in the car and I don't have much time left. So I don't wanna waste time going back to the house or back to the car and getting my GoPro batteries. Clearly I found the juice. I'm where I need to be. And I'm just gonna do the rest of the recording on my phone, y'all. Another nice little pounder, you know, right off of this point. They're loving this thing, man. That, the Miki blade right there. That is what's doing the damn work today, boy. Actually, lately, that's what's been putting all the fish either on land or in the boat. You guys, I have a huge fish on right now. Woo! This thing is, nah, this is a big, this is a huge bass. I mean, again, here we go, pulling the boat. <laughs> pulling the boat. I'm being very daring right now by not focusing on catching this fish and recording for you guys. But man, this thing is huge. I'm gonna have to get the net. I mean, she is pulling me in. That's a big fish. I have not even seen her yet. Nope, haven't even seen her yet. But she's not happy. Uh, I mean, she just feels like a log that is moving and just going in circles. Oh man, oh man, wow. Yeah, this is a big fish, you guys. Whatever it says, it's not happy. She is fighting until the very end. She's coming up, she's coming up, she's coming up. I mean, still, still fighting, you guys. Still fighting. It's a big bass. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! <laughs> that is why you blade bait fish right there. That's why you blade bait fish. And she didn't even, I mean, she must have just swiped at it because look what a blade bait is. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty right there. That bass has to be at least four pounds. We're gonna get a weight on her, you guys. But like I said, she must have just swiped at it. But look at the size of that beauty. Look at the mouth. Big old bucket mouth as well. She, I got the weight on her. She's about three and a half. Uh, actually, no, she's right under four pounds. She's like 314. We're gonna get her back in the water. You know, fish like this, you want them to thrive and create more fish like her, man. Good genetics right there. Beautiful bass, you guys. Nice little release right there. There she goes. Go ahead. There you go, girl. 
Y'all, the day is going so well in terms of fishing. But in terms of me having all of my stuff, this morning, y'all won't, won't believe it. So, <laughs> bring the kayak to the lake. I think I have everything. I leave the seat to the kayak at the house. So, I have to like stash the kayak in the bushes, drive back to the house, come back, get on the water, only to come and find out that, that I don't have any more of my GoPro batteries. So, all of the rest of the recording is done on my phone, which makes it really, really, really freaking hard. But you know what? Like I said, that ain't stopping me from catching fish and getting it on film for you guys, man. Yo, today has been awesome. I have about maybe 45 minutes left on the water. We're gonna see if we can pull into some more. The bass before that was about like a good two pounder, caught a pound and a half after that one. And then I pulled into her. She was just under four pounds. You can't ask for a better day than that, man. All right, you guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for the day. I just threw the yak back up in my parents' garage. That was a good day, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I had a good feeling about today when I first got out there because there was some fog on the water. It just looked like it, and it just felt like a good fishing day. I'm, I'm happy that it manifested into a, into a good day. Even though I didn't have my GoPro batteries, I left my tripod in the car too. GoPro batteries right here in the cup holder. So with all that being the case, I still got some good footage for you guys. I was able to get a little bit on the phone and I only had one GoPro battery. So after that battery died, I mean, I was just like, that's actually when I started to catch my biggest fish too. I was like that, of course, that, that would happen. That would be the case. But you guys, thank you for the view. Thank you for, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me lately. I'm gonna keep trying to knock these videos out for y'all. All right, I, uh, I'll catch you guys next time on another episode sooner than later, hopefully, y'all. All right, I'm gonna try and stick it out through this winter and keep pushing these videos out, keep pumping them out, y'all. I'll catch y'all later. See you next time. Deuces.